Now you mentioned, you know, the the passing of the torch between uh, the original Doctor Who and the updated, and that was some fine animation, or um, I don't know what what they call it. But um, did you do that on your own? Um, first off, thank you. It was I, it's called? I guess it's it technically is animation, but it's well. I don't know if it would be considered animation. It's called stop motion. Stop That's motion. The, thank you. Yeah. Yes. Um, I did do that on my own. I did do that 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 scene on my own, and it was so hard to do. It was the first stop motion thing I ever did. I remember I used to watch Lego stop motion stuff as a kid. I was obsessed with it. The first life video I have on my YouTube channel is of a Lego stop motion pizza delivery. <laughs> that is a fact. And it it took so long to do. I had to reshoot it. I had to reshoot the walking scene so many times. I had to watch so many different walking tutorials of it. Um, cause like, and I had to reshoot the, the reshooting with it. Like, because like the lighting was off, you had to get the lighting just right. If it, if the lighting was too off, then it didn't look so natural. And it was, I, I, I do not know how people make like. There are full feature films of Lego stop motion on YouTube, and some like some people have come out and said that it's taken like seven years of their lives to do that. I, yeah, I, I do not know how people do that. I wish that I could get on that level with my stop motion if I ever decide to to expand the Lego Dr. Cool cinematic universe. But that was fun to do. It was fun to see the final product of the walk and the, and the bow at the end when he when he was on stage and everybody was cheering, all the boys cheering Lego Dr. Cool. It was fun to see. It was, I think it was like the first, the first time before um the the cool cu phase one where i put like a serious amount of effort into into the dr cool vlog and I, I really wanted to make something something special with uh with the product and i'm, I'm happy with how it came out came out and it's 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 a lasting memory it's, it's a it's a damn good vlog and it's also uh Mike Anthony's in that one too for for a brief moment. I don't know if that wets your beak, but if you if you're into Mike Anthony for whatever reason, then uh, he's he's also in that vlog. It's uh, this creeps the roll up. That's the that's the vlog. That's it. No, it's really impressive because I've always I've seen stock motion and it seems like a lot of fun. But then again, I have zero patience, <laughs> and, and I would probably go insane just adjusting everything, every like it's five like, seconds. It's like it's it's so weird how how it's done because like I I, I when I first when I was when I was when I was uh, trying to make that scene, I I was I, I mean I knew of stop motion Lego, but I didn't I didn't do it. I never did it. Right. Or anything like that, and so you have to like learn about like different things. Like you have to you have to pick out like a frame rate, whether it's gonna be. I think it's like eight, twelve, and twenty. And like if you do twenty, that means like it's like twenty pictures per second, and then it's supposed to look super smooth. But like imagine, imagine you're you you like a like you're trying to get someone to walk trying to get a Lego Lego figure to walk and you have to take 20 pictures per second. How like how much can you move a Lego minifigure that much to get to make it so that it's it's 20 pictures per second to make the video and make it look real and look smooth and make it look like real movement is going on. I you can look on YouTube and see like 20 i think frames per 20 frames per second um lego stop motion and it looks super smooth it looks it looks crisp it looks like it's professionally edited and animated if you if you check any of it out and it like i i i do not know how it's done i don't think it's ever going to be a thing for me unless i unless i get in, incredibly immensely good at it but it's 
it, uh, like learning about stop motion was, was so was so cool to see and, and having having to perfect it has to take so much effort so much effort I mean I feel like the, the effort paid off because if I was thinking did he do this on his own or did he outsource this because it looked very professional well, thank you very thank you very much I, I appreciate you saying that it was it was a lot of fun to make I'm glad I got to to make a Lego stop motion at one point during during my lifetime, and I'm, I'm glad that it got it got to be incorporated into wrestling somehow or some way.